women or one of five others. There are eight women. Uh, this week, one of them is going to win $100,000. It's the biggest prize in women's tennis. I'm with Martina, with Chris Everett, with Tracy Austin. In a little while, we'll talk, and we're also going to hit a few tennis balls, Pat. Well, we'll be waiting, and uh, also we're going to uh, talk to Merle Ellis. He's got some tips on your next roast and how to spice it up. John Coleman predicts a southwest soaker from space, and at 31 past the hour, here is Steve Bell and Austin Square Garden. Don't miss this for anything. This will be very funny. We'll be right back. Now at the Madison Square Garden Complex, you really need Howard Cosell for this, playing tennis this morning with three of the best women tennis players in the world. Martina Navratilova, currently number one in the world. Chrissy Effort, the highest money winner in the history of women's tennis, but now the number two ranked player in the world. She's going to get married soon. And 16-year-old Tracy Austin, who just turned pro last October and ever since has been just sensational on the pro tour. They and five other top-ranked players are in New York for the Avon Championships that start here tomorrow. Whoever comes out on top Sunday afternoon will walk away with $100,000. Most David's ever won is $2 in Monopoly money. You're out of your league, David, but you're there. You're looking good. Pat, thank you very much. I'm with Martina and Chris Everett and Tracy. Tracy just said to me, why are you the only one sweating? Why am I the only one sweating? Puffing. 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 Why am I the only one puffing? I don't know. <laughs> I do. Age, for one thing. Tracy, it's nice meeting you in person, finally. Because when you went turned pro in October, you did it with us on the telephone. You were at your house out in California, and I was at my office in New York. Tracy, you have not won a big major tournament, and here you are possibly about to play Chris Everett or Martina Navratilova. Do you honestly have any thought in your mind that you were going to win this tournament? Listen, <laughs> they're looking at me right. They're giving me dirty looks. Are they? Did, now, is this how they treat you? Huh? No. No? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What are your thoughts today, though, as you look forward to this tournament? There are eight players, and you might end up playing one of the two of them in a final. Um... Well, I think it's going to be a tough tournament, you know. I, um, I haven't played Chris in a long time, and I've played Martina four times this year already. Right, and who won what? Martina won three times, and I won one. And you won one. Mm -hmm. All right, now you all were both giggling just now. <laughs> Why were you giggling when I was talking to Tracy? Uh, she's so young. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're, you're old. Chris, 24. 24. Boy, <laughs> you're the you're the, the over the hill. No. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Now is this Martina? You're 22. 22 right? You're 22. So you're not quite as old. She's the old lady of the group, right? <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. Over the hill, as Tracy said. No, just kidding. Chris, what will it take for you? Now Martina beat you here recently. She's beaten you two out of three, and you lost to Sue Barker last week up in Boston. What will it take for you to win this? Are you down, or are you <laughs> coming up, or what? Where is your head? Well, I'm very eager right now. Yeah. I think every time I lose, that works for me because the next week um, I'm more determined than ever. But I'm also realistic, and I know that um, on a given day it is very possible for any one of the eight players to beat me. Right. But I feel good. I feel eager, and I feel fresh. I had a couple of days off last week, and, you know, we'll just have to see. All right, Martina, now you are hotter than a pistol right now. People are saying you're number one. People are saying you've dislodged Chris from number one woman player in the world. You came out, oh, dropped Sorry. our Sorry. racket. Oh, Sorry. right on her foot. Now, Chris, why, why did you drop the racket on Martina's right on my foot? Bad toe, yeah. On your bad toe, Sorry about right? That. <laughs> Sorry about that. One of her cheap tricks, that's okay. One of her cheap tricks. I see, that's what, tell me about psyching. Now, here stand the three of you. You are going to play a big tournament here. What's going on in your minds right now, really? I mean, we're laughing and we're, we're having a good time here. What's happening between the two of you mentally now, if anything? Oh, are you uh, psyching each other or what? No, it's too far away. I mean, first of all, Chris and I are in the other group, and so is Tracy. So for me, it's going to take uh, at least two or three matches to play one of them. So I don't really worry about him right now. I mean, we're still joking, but uh, you know, I'm sure that the term is on our mind, but I don't think we're right now thinking about playing each other yet. It's right. too far away. we still got somebody else to beat first. You came out here the other day in the paper and said that you were going to 
you were going to win this tournament. I didn't say that. Oh, you didn't? You didn't <laughs> I never say, say those things. No, oh, you I said, didn't. I'm going to try. Oh, you're going to try. If I play my best, then I know it's possible to win, but I know that I can win to it, uh, that I can lose to any of the seven players. So, What, what happens now? That. As I said, here stand the three of you, but you're really going to be in some kind of mortal combat out there to win this tournament, and it gets very, very serious business. How do you manage to come out and work that hard in a match and then turn it off and go back to kidding? Tracy? Um, well, I think that when you're out on the court, you're trying your hardest and to beat them. But, you know, when you're off the court, I think, I think you forget about it mostly. Can, can you really do you can do that yeah yeah can you do it Chris it's it's tough for me to do it it's hard for me to have you know best friends on the tour when I'm competing with them because mm -hmm. I sometimes I carry it on the court also it's hard for me to just erase those feelings when I'm just competing with them right. so it's harder for me what about you Martina yeah it's hard for me to play people that I really feel close to because then I feel sorry for them or like when I play Rosie now she's had a bad knee and I'm, I'm really close to her and I it's like every time I hit a wooden ass, I, I feel like, sorry, Rosie, you know, I didn't really mean to do that. <laughs> Have you ever so, said sorry in the middle of a match when you're playing for big money? Have you yeah, ever really said I, sorry? I, yeah, I've said it. I think all of us have yeah. said sorry, and especially if we get a, a good line call, and it's in our favor, and there's nothing we can do about it. We just say we're sorry. And or a lucky uh, break, you know, let court or something. That's how, it. Chris, right now, you're very happy personally right now. Yeah. And is that working against your tennis? Is it a distraction, do you think? Um, it's a little bit of a distraction. No, wait, excuse me. She just went. She, now, here's what she just <laughs> What went. did she do now? She just, no, she just went. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just thinking, Thanks, when I'm happy, I play my best tennis. But you do? Like, Chris has played her best tennis when she wasn't very happy yeah. personally. So it's Is that right? very yeah. individual. I play my best when um, I'm not really that happy. Because when I'm happy, I'm just too relaxed, you know, right. and I don't feel mean. And I don't feel like getting tough. I just want to relax and be at peace. How do you feel this morning? Tired. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say you didn't feel mean, because Tracy and I are going to take you guys on now. Are we going to win this? I don't know. <laughs> that's not the right attitude, Tracy. Don't we're hit supposed him in to the head again. Win. Win. <laughs> that's this uh, new spirit. Are ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Everything is yours. You're going to hit everything except the return of serve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, thank you all. Martina, thank good you. luck. Chris, thank congratulations you to you. Nice seeing you. Thank You're not going to retire, are you? After you get married? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. Tracy, thanks. All right, we're going to play some tennis. We'll be back in just a minute, and uh, we're going to play some big doubles. Big doubles. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's what we're now Tomorrow, Geraldo Rivera on a $10 billion cold mine ripoff. And the wonderful Gene Kelly will be here. And we hope today that David doesn't have renewed confidence, so much so that he's going to dance tomorrow. We hope today he plays tennis better than he dances. We're going to go back now to uh, Madison Square Garden, where uh, David and Tracy are going to square off against uh, Martina and Chris Everett. Are you ready for this? Write him a lot of funny letters. <laughs> here he goes. Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, you can tell. She's psyched. <laughs> <laughs> Game isn't that difficult. I don't know. Was that good? Was it really? Woo! All right, Everett serving. Love for it. Ball. Ball. A lot of pressure. On the oh! <laughs>
drink, sir, of course. Tuesday, it's the Ropers. Six dominated the woman who herself has dominated women's tennis in recent years. The loss, however, does not eliminate Chris from the tournament. In fact, we're not.